Well, Turk Telecom's group CEO, Hakam Kanafani, joins us from Istanbul. Lovely to have you on the program. So uh, let me start by asking you what Turk Telecom wants to achieve in the medium to long-term future, uh, perhaps not just in Turkey, but in the other countries that you're operating in as well, in terms of offering services in fixed-line broadband, mobile and TV. Hello, thank you for having me. I think the priority is to expand in the different uh, uh, vertical markets in education, in uh, uh, healthcare, and also come up with uh, a viable convergence track for our subscribers, which means not only the convergence of uh, voice and data, but also the convergence of information technology and communications. Add to that, these are the days where the pursuit of excellence and I think smart uh, growth and smart operations are very important because in our market there are always uh, EBITDA and margin pressure. So uh, the good companies are the companies that are fundamentally uh, sound and, uh, and efficient. Mm. So we don't want to keep that uh, uh, off our focus. It's important to us. So with that in mind then, tell me, does the company, are you planning any acquisitions either inside or outside Turkey? We are always open for acquisitions. We're always uh, evaluating the situation. Uh, today we still see that this is a seller's market. Uh, we, 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 are not, we, we, are, we, we do not like to overpay. We do not overpay. So we're always evaluating the price based on future value. And like I said, with margin pressures, with the high levered uh, uh, companies that, we, that are for sale now, we don't think that the prices in the market are, uh, uh, are fair. Mm -hmm. But we're always looking, if there's a good opportunity like Pantel, we've made the acquisition. We also have some uh, uh, play in uh, Germany with our partners, uh, uh, O2, Telefonica. Uh, so we're always open, open for that. But it's very important for us that we pursue this in a smart way, in a disciplined way. We don't see any pressure for us uh, to expand, uh, notwithstanding to pay higher value than necessary. So it seems as though you're not seeing a great deal of value out there. You see assets as being quite expensive. Nevertheless, you're still on the lookout. Any geographical regions you're focusing on? Well, uh, the, the North Africa, Middle East, Near Asia, and uh, East uh, uh, Europe or the New Europe, these are the areas that are naturally uh, create synergies with Turkey. Turkey today is the hub of communication between all of this uh, region, and it's also a case study in uh, forward-looking technology and a case study mm -hmm. of uh, privatization in our uh, domain. Of course, we're one of the most successful privatized uh, telecommunication companies in the world. So I think if you add that to the synergy around us and that region, this is our sweet spot and this is where we are uh, looking for uh, smart growth. So, I mean, you mentioned the Middle East as being amongst the regions that you're keeping a close eye on right now. Can you talk to me a little bit about Saudi Ogre Group uh, and what we're hearing about its potential plans to sell Ogre Telecom? Well, uh, these rumors have been on, on the market. Uh, our uh, uh, shareholder, Saudi Oje, has issued a statement three months ago that very clearly says that we are committed to our assets here in, in Turkey and there are no uh, s uh, sales or uh, uh, offers on the table. And this was very clearly communicated both uh, uh, in, in, uh, in a press release and also by our uh, uh, group chairman, Mr. Mohammed Hariri. Tag Telecom Group CEO Hakam Kanafani in Istanbul. Thank you.